everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today here at Norris Cove, we're going to be talking about money goals. Uh, money goals were, was our insert and our topic for our budget box for December. And that was to kind of lead us into our January goals. I like to set goals and I thought money goals would be perfect for our sub box. So let me go over what you got in the insert. So it says money goals, um, 23. And then here, there are a list of things, how to set money goals. And um, you can kind of pause and read through that, but I don't have a problem reading it. But first, I'll ask that you ask yourself a few questions about your money goals. Like, where do you stand currently with your money? Is there room for improvement? Or are you satisfied where you are in your finances? And would you like to make more money? That's like number one. Uh, number two, if you need improvement in your finances, money, um, set small attainable goals. Always make a plan, make a plan for your money. Make a budget and see what's left. Where can you save anything extra? If you don't make enough money, could you get a part-time job or do you have a side hustle? So we're going to number three. Remember, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Slow and steady so that you're not overwhelmed and quit. Keep track of your progress and even any mistakes, definitely write down and track the mistakes if you made with your money. At first, it won't be easy, but it definitely will be worth it. Assign any extra money to a money goal. Saving challenges are great for saving money, but choose a savings goal. I mean, excuse me, choose a savings challenge that is manageable for your budget. And lastly, make sure to check in with your money goals regularly on a consistent basis. So then we hop into, you get about six sheets front and back, which is basically three um, front and back of your money goals. This is one, two, three, four five and six and then you get a page um or two pages for notes because i mean i don't want to overwhelm you with tons of paper of trying to set money goals and kind of fill up that paper if you only have one money goal we're going to write it down so we're going to kind of go over it and i'm going to be using some of my own personal goals so here you have a whole paragraph to kind of write out your thought process behind your money goal you can put here the goal you can write the goal here or you can write it here and just list here we're going to get into all of that here are your immediate actions things that you can take actions that you can take immediately to start your money goals instead of saying hey i want to start on the first or i want to start next week we're going to start today over here with our immediate actions here monthly actions i tend to work kind of backwards like i've seen where people say okay daily what are you going to do weekly what are you going to do and then monthly i like to start from the month <laughs> break it down by the week and then we're going to break it down by the day what are you going to do monthly to get you to your money goal what are you going to do weekly to get you to your money goal and then what are you doing from that month, from that week to the daily action that's going to get you to your money goal? So if this is, sounds like something that you're interested in, something that you need to do with your money, um, make a money goal, I'm going to show you how to do mine, simplify it for you. Um, again, these inserts came in our December budget box, but they will be available sometime in January for a digital download. And um, I'll keep you posted on that. So if you'd like to see some of my money goals or one of my money goals, stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So this pen came here, came in our November budget box. I'm just going to move this because I don't know if it bleeds. I don't think that it does, but I'm just going to move that to the side. So for me, I'm going to put here, I want to start my debt-free journey. So here I'm going to start kind of listing kind of intentions or how I plan for it to go. So I'm going to write like I want to be debt free by 2025. I want to commit to paying my bills on time and pay extra on any bills or credit cards. That's kind of summing up how I plan to get there. Okay, so now we've kind of 
just made a statement about how we, you know, just off the dome, how you intend to get to that uh, debt-free journey or that particular goal. So here, I'm going to, I like to start with the immediate actions, immediate actions, like what can I do immediately um, to kind of get me going um, for my um, debt-free journey or my money goal? So in this first box here, I'm going to write add extra to um, a big credit cards or high interest rate credit cards. In my next one, I'm going to put decrease eating out. And it will say, I would probably save over $100 a month by doing this. So I'm just going to put decrease eating out. Okay. And then for my third action here, I'm going to write down no planner spin. And then here in my fourth box, I'm going to put advertise North Cove more, uh, more money to pay down bills. Um, by paying, the, I mean, excuse me, by advertising more on Norris Cove more, it will bring in more income and it would allow me extra money to pay down um, my bills. Okay, so we have some immediate actions, things that you can just do really quickly. These are things that I came up with quickly off the top of my head that would make a small dent into my financial goals or my money goals, things that could be done right away, wouldn't take me long term to do, but they're going to add up to long term things, but we're going to make these habits. Here's the thing with money goals. Anytime you start to um, set a goal for yourself, you got to start with consistency. And we know once we start to do things, they become habits. Okay. Habits, excuse me. So now let's go into the monthly actions. Let's just jot it down now this is something you may need to take time with i'll be honest with you i kind of pre did this just kind of did an outline for myself so i kind of already had mine down but this is just to give you an idea um also this is something that you may have to sit with for a week or two um but it'll definitely be worth it so for my monthly action i put saving um savings from reducing eating out and no planner spend will accumulate and go towards bills. So I took these over here, pretty much made them into monthly actions because these are things, again, that I can do immediately. But by writing into my monthly actions and doing these monthly, it would accumulate. Okay, so let's write that down. Okay, so we have that written down. So now for our weekly actions. For my weekly actions, I put catch up on any behind bills with money saved daily actions again those things that i listed over here they were just quick things remember that i came up with but i'm going to put those into my monthly actions my weekly actions and my daily actions so again no eating out or unnecessary spending is what i'm going to do daily okay so that is how I'm using the money goal. This is just one goal. Again, I would highly suggest that you sit with this. You really focus on what is your money goals. Like if there's something that you've wrote down in the future, but there was just no structured way. I mean, excuse me. If there's something that you wrote down before and there was just no structured way of how you were going to get there, but you just wrote down what you really want your money goals to be, but you didn't have a... Uh, in a type of form where you could kind of look at it and break it down into actions. Um, this is the perfect insert for that. So take those things that you wrote down, break them down, write them into actions, write out maybe a statement here, what you're going to do. Um, there's so much stuff coming up for the budget box and being intentional with our money. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. But again, this is definitely a great stepping stone for you for 2023 of getting your money goals together. I have more, but I do want to kind of sit with some other stuff. I want to be intentional about my money goals. And I highly suggest that you do the same. So I'm not going to put all my money goals out here right now, but this is definitely one of my main goals. Um, another goal for me is to save $5,000. And when I was writing this out breaking it down i was like wow it's so easy to do that so saving five thousand dollars is on my list and after i did the numbers i realized i could save ten thousand if i wanted to because it's really easy to save that five but i gotta start here and this is my starting point of just taking out some extra spending 
all that great stuff. So again, these will, will be in our um, digital shop on in January. Again, this was in our December subscription box. If you are not already subscribed to our um, budget subscription, I highly suggest it. Um, not because I'm trying to sell you anything, but I want us all to get our money together for 2023. I know it is the top priority on my list. I'm tired of not having. I talk about budgeting all the time, but I definitely want to show you guys the efforts from my budgeting and how I'm going to turn my money around. Not just a weekly budget of, I don't have this, I'm in the negative. I definitely want to show it to you. Also, I'll be doing a video of setting up my um, financial planner for 2023. But look how pretty that looks in here. Just look at it. It looks so good. And I can't wait to finish my money goals. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I am Yoshida. If this is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.